So, there is some midfield madness going on at Liverpool. They have signed Endo, a Japanese player from Stuttgart. 16 million, not the world's most well-known player. Not laughing. I see a bit of outrage from Liverpool fans, but they're going to do other deals on top of this. It's a 16 million deal. They bid 110 million for Caicedo. And one of the deals they might be doing is Decore from Crystal Palace. They're looking at Chuamene. They would love to get Chuamene. They're looking at Gravenberch, which isn't really what they need because they need a six. They're looking at Amrabat, which better not happen because I'm a Man United fan and I will cry if Amrabat goes to Liverpool. But I'm going to talk about Endo to Liverpool and why this is a maybe a better signing than it, it's getting reputation for. I get Liverpool fans a bit annoyed about this, but I think Endo is a very good player. And I think Endo is essentially signed as a James Milner replacement. You know, the way I look at it is Endo is 30, he's extremely versatile, he can play centre back, DM, right back, even set the mid if, if need be. He's got an absolutely insane injury record. He's captain of Japan, he's captain of Stuttgart, he's got that kind of mentality. And he's probably someone who's going to go in there in that Milner role. He's probably going to be a bench player that will fill in at DM, fill in at centre back, fill in at right back, do a job for Klopp's system. Because Liverpool are exploring Amrabat, they would love to a many, which please don't happen because too many is too good. I don't I don't want to see him at Liverpool as a Man United fan. Um, and they're obviously looking at players like Gravenberch, which isn't exactly what they need. But I wouldn't be shocked if Liverpool went for Decore or went for Amrabat or another DM uh, from what we're hearing. And we're going to talk about what Liverpool are doing, who else they've been linked to. They've been linked to the player at Lille as well that Brighton are linked to called Carlos the Leber or something like that. I don't know how to say his name, but I think Decore will be Liverpool's sort of second signing from what, what it's being hinted at. It's not it's not super reliable reports linking Decore to United, uh, but it you know it's the one that makes the most sense. So we'll quickly get into the news on Decore, but we are going to talk about why Endo is a better sign than people think on what Endo adds. And it said that Crystal Palace are bracing themselves for Liverpool to follow up on their interest in uh, Decore. Now, Decore joined Crystal Palace last season, I believe, from Lens, and has been really good at Crystal Palace. And Decore is a great player in build-up. Amrabat is obviously a fantastic player, but he's told Liverpool his preference is Man United, so Liverpool are focusing more on Decore. Liverpool have also inquired about Chouamene, uh, Valverde, and we will get into that. But we're going to talk about Endo, and then we're going to talk about the other players Liverpool are linked with and what they look to be doing, because they're also reportedly maybe looking at bringing in the centre-back. So what do you need to know at Endo? Endo is 30 years of age, but he looks about 12. He's 178 centimetres tall. He can play DM centre mid and he just never gets injured. He's incredibly versatile. He could play on his own as a DM. He could play in a double pivot. He could even play at centre back or full back when needed. He's a leader. He's that James Milner S guy. And for me, I believe that he's a James Milner replacement. And then they'll be looking to get a Fabinho replacement in. What I know about Endo, and I'm not going to act like I watched this guy play loads, I've watched him play about three times, but I've done my research on the player, is that he's a great ball winner. He's an absolutely fantastic ball winner. He knows how to, you know, Stuttgart basically almost got relegated and people will be saying Liverpool signed a, side, a player from a side that almost got relegated. But because he was in a bad side that almost got relegated, he had a lot to do. And you could see he was off the ball a lot. And you could see off the ball, this guy is very good. He can tackle, he can intercept balls, he can block shots. Um, you know, he, although he's not the tallest, he does have a good rate of winning aerial duels. But what he's actually known is, is actually just winning the ball back and being good with the ball. And although he plays for a side that doesn't keep possession very much, he still has good pass accuracy. I think he averages 87% pass accuracy a match, which considering the side he's in as well, it is pretty good as well. Um, he is good at progressing the ball as well. He's a good, um, you know, he's not an unreal dribbler, but he's definitely not bad at it. He's one of those players where you're not like, oh, he's unreal at this. Or he's not Caicedo, he's not Lavi. He's not Caicedo or Lavi at level, but for 60 million, a 30 year old that comes in to replace James Milner this is a good signing as long as Liverpool get another DM and from what I'm reading in reports they probably will get another DM whether it be Decore and Amrabat whether they can tempt Real Madrid and do something with Chiuamene I'm not sure but this is a good signing if they get another DM I'm actually surprised they're not looking at Sangari of PSV because Bayern Munich are reportedly going to have a 38 million bid accepted to Sangari which kind of surprises me that Liverpool aren't looking that way as well he does score goals but I think what Endo is signed for is his versatility. I think the fact that he's smart, he can anticipate the, the game well. He's aware of danger coming. He knows how to, you know, sort of possess himself, get those interceptions and get those tackles in. Um, and I think him being a Milner replacement, he, he, that is what he is. I think as long as Liverpool bring in a top class DM on top of that, he's good. He's someone who can be back up, who can do the Milner role. They need to get someone in that is going to do the Fabinho role because otherwise they will struggle. You know, they are linked to Gravenberch. They've had talks with Gravenberch. Reportedly, um, a source is coming in, and that was said by um, FC Bayern, which is Christian Folk. 
And he's actually a very good German journalist. And he's saying that right now, Liverpool want to bid 20 million for Ryan Gravenberch. Now, there's no doubt in my mind, Ryan Gravenberch is a fantastic signing. And if Liverpool spent the 110 million on signing Decore of Crystal Palace, Ryan Gravenberch and Endo instead of Moises Caicedo, I think that is really good business. But for me, the next deal Liverpool have got to do is, is a top DM. The one thing we know about Ryan Gravenberch and Amrabat, who they've been linked with, is they've made it clear they would prefer to move to United than Liverpool. However, Cody Gapler made it clear he would prefer to move United over Liverpool, but then Cody Gapler became aware that United weren't going to put a bid in because the Glazers, you know, the Glazers, the Glazers, so they went to Liverpool. So I think I think it's one of those situations, although Amrabat and Gravenberch prefer United, United can't put in a bid for any player unless they sell a player. And it's a bit like the Gapo situation. So although Man United have had terms agreed with Amrabat two months ago, and Gravenberch has said that he would rather go to United than Liverpool, they're still open to Liverpool. Their preference is United. And if they think they're not going to get that move to United, they will be open to Liverpool. And I think Gravenberch and Amrabat are ones to keep an eye on. But I think the real ones to keep an eye on regarding Liverpool and transfer news from what I'm hearing is obviously uh, Decore as well. They've also got an interest in um, Chuamene, but again, David Ornstein. David Ornstein basically said Chuamene won't happen. And Brighton are obviously looking at uh, Lille midfielder Carlos to, to replace Moises Caicedo. So, you know, maybe that's one Liverpool put 110 million bid in for a few years. But I mean, if, if Brighton are targeting a young midfielder, you might as well target him because Bright, Brighton seem to get all their business absolutely spot on. But we're going to talk about the other Liverpool news coming out. We've spoken a little bit about Takare. Liverpool obviously looking at the Takare deal. Um, I think it might be about £40 million, pounds, which isn't too bad. But we'll have to see what they do. But it is said that Liverpool's dream is to a many. It said that Liverpool's dream is to a many. They want a top DM. They see, you know... As Rice, Caicedo, Rodri, Casemiro at the four rivals, even Tonali and Bruno Guimaraes. And, you know, Liverpool quite, aren't quite at that level. The secret scout said, you know what, Liverpool have inquired about Trumene and Valverde. Real Madrid midfielders are a serious interest to in Liverpool. The Spanish club are likely to make one available. We know that Real Madrid, although David Onsen said uh, Trumene is going nothing, nowhere and Trumene is like to tweet saying it's going nowhere, we know that Real Madrid want to get an Mbappe deal done. So I definitely wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't rule this one out. Um, I really wouldn't rule this one out just yet. I hope it doesn't happen as a Man United fan because, look, I think Endo's a good signing, but he's, he's a Milner replacement. I'll be honest, as a Man United fan, if Liverpool get to Corey, it's a great deal. If Liverpool get Amabat, it's a great deal. If Liverpool get Chouameni, it's an unbelievable deal. And I will be honest, as a Man United fan, I don't want Liverpool to sign a DM because Liverpool, if they sign a top DM, I generally think can challenge. Liverpool have a great squad. Soberslein, McAllister, I know they did not look good versus... Um, Chelsea, but they have a good squad. They've got Salah, they've got Diaz, they've got Schotter, they've got Gapo, they've got Nunes, they've got Robertson, they've got they've got lots of good players, but they don't have a DM. Because they don't have a DM, it's holding them back in the way they play. So as a United fan, I don't want to get a DM, particularly Amrabat, uh, because again, United don't seem to be doing anything with Amrabat, despite agreeing past the time two months ago. United are being slow, they don't want to spend any money, they're too busy fifth faffing on some Mason Greenwood stories. It's absolutely embarrassing being a Man United fan right now. And for me, Decore is best for Liverpool. Amrabat is best for United. Uh, but this could happen because he's £25 million. Pounds and, and I think United are going to bottle this deal as a United fan. So Liverpool are in a situation where they've got a good team, they've got a good basis, but they're just missing that number six. Um, Klopp actually spoke about Endo. And I want to talk a little bit more about Endo before I end the video because obviously he is the player that Liverpool have just signed. And Klopp said a few things on Endo. And Klopp says, I'm really happy. I know the world of football football and how it goes and stuff like this but it's really great to have a player like Endo in he's an experienced player captain of Stuttgart's captain of Japan speaks good English nice fella family man machine on the pitch and it's a bit sad to see some Liverpool fans are giving him abuse um you know he, he, he look Man United signed their course on Johnny Evans okay okay just me Endo's better than their course on Johnny Evans he might not be your ideal signing but he's better than their course on Johnny Evans their course replaced Ronaldo just just the cloud Ronaldo to their course Fabinho to Endo, it's a bit of a drop-off, but it is what it is. Fabinho wanted to go for the money. It was said, obviously, um, Klopp obviously said on the situation regarding Endo, he said last week was tricky because obviously we had this Casado lavia situation and tactically they're really smart, but I think Endo is a very similar player. He comes in that same package and his first idea is to clean up defensively and protect the defence as well. Um, Klopp said, look, nothing is over yet. I don't think there'll be any more outgoings, but there could be a few more ingoings. The window is not over yet. We know that Klopp wants two more ingoings for Liverpool as well and Endo actually spoke about joining Liverpool and Endo came out and said this it's going to be my first time that I play at Anfield I can't wait to play at Anfield in front of Liverpool fans I play as a number six and I'm like a bit more of a defensive player I think I can help the club defensively and I will have good organisation so Endo for me if Liverpool get another DM this is a good signing if Liverpool get another DM it's a good signing 
if Liverpool don't get another DM, I mean, I have to say they've not been good in the transfer market this year, Liverpool. They were always good under Michael Edwards, but they've not been good this year, which as a Man United fan, I'm not complaining. Um, but I think, you know, the signing depends really if they get another DM in. And I think if they get another DM in, it is smart business. And hopefully that DM is not Amrabat. Please. Thank you for watching. Smash the like, smash the subscribe. See you next time. Bye.